It was good, y'all. It's your boy DJ Doc Dice. I'm right here with a movie premiere of Love is Where You Find It. I'm here with Mr. Victor Jones. He is the man. A lot of guys are going to be jealous right off the top. What would inspire a film like this? The desire to do great work. I mean, this this, this film is, uh, in my opinion, a beautiful film. It's, it's well written, and, and, and I don't say it just because I wrote it, but because mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm pretty critical of my own work. But it's a well written film, um, well acted film. It's it's it's, a, it's an inspirational film. Uh -huh. Even even though it's a romantic comedy, right? There's there are messages in it. There's a lot of funny parts. There's a lot of romantic parts. But okay. the thing is, it's an entertaining film. Um, and hopefully it, it'll just encourage you know, other you know, would-be filmmakers to, to you know, write stories that you know, entertain, right. but also you, you still have a message to entertain people. I've seen a lot of real life in this film. Yeah. You've got your friends who you have, they have their opinions, don't think you should be doing certain things. Exactly. You know, there's a scandal in every story, oh, yeah. but you know, this one is very realistic. I can kind of relate to it in, in a few ways. Right. Um, older man with a younger woman almost always happens. And then everybody yeah. have their opinions about it because, you know, some people say they're hating for whatever reason. Right. But uh, we might find compatibility out of it. I really want to know, though, it's got to be something that touched your life that inspired you to write something like this. You know what it really was? What? That when you hear about the the, um, the disparities between men and women, uh -huh. right, as far as the, you say, pick Atlanta where they say it's, the ratio is like 15 to 1 or 20 to 1, uh -huh. whatever it is. When you think about that, if... A woman say is African American and she sticks within her race. Uh -huh. There's only so many men that's going to be available. That's to. right. So what's to happen if she goes outside the race? Because if you only got a, this small pool of people, yeah, then you got to go outside that pool to find somebody that you can get with. Ladies and gentlemen, you know you can't do an interview without the love interest. Uh, this is the woman in question, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one that got all everything going on. You are the young lady. You're the 26 year old. I am absolutely. I'm the 26 year old. Let's see, I, I see how he fell for you. That smile right there. <laughs> Well, thank you. Yes, um, I'm Zakia Alkali. Zakia Alkali. I'm actually playing the role of Nadia. Okay. She is uh, Walter's love interest. Uh -huh. She's quite a bit younger than him, but um, but she teaches him a thing or two in the movie. How did you get casted for this role? I'm curious. Well, I mean, that's actually a really funny story. I came in, the role was already cast okay. when I came in. It was from a girl that he used previously. Mm -hmm. So I went in an audition and I got another role in the movie. Well, things didn't work out and she wasn't able to do the movie. So I came in and I re-auditioned for it. He loved me and I got the role. Keeping it moving right along, love is where you find it. I'm here with a Devonair smooth brother. I can almost tell what type of role you about to play in this movie. Love is where you find it, my dude. Are you a producer of a sort? Actually, I am a producer, man. And what is your professional name? Jabron. Jabron. J-E-B-R-O-N. Jabron. Jabron. And you play Rick the producer. Rick the producer, man. So, uh, it was real fun, man. You was know, it? Just uh, playing a mode that I've already, you know, kind of playing in general. But, right. Um, this is like my third, third, third acting, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the first time being at the big screen. Okay. But um, I've done a couple of sitcoms and a couple of independent movies, but... um. This is good, man. I feel real good about it. I think it's going to be a good look. Rick, the producer, keep your eyes out for him. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? You know this face. One of the most sought-after actors in the state of Georgia, Mr. Bendy Anderson. What you got going on, baby? My man, my man. Love is where you find it. Talk to me about this film, mister. Well, this, this film is, as we have always been told, where art imitates life. Uh -huh. Well, this is actually life. Imitating art. All right. mm. This is real life. Uh huh. It could happen to you. It's probably happened to somebody you know. Wow. Love is where you find it. Love is where you find it. It's a tender story. Uh huh. It's a story of a happenstance meeting between two people who just find themselves in each other and find themselves in life. It's a beautiful piece. What do you do in this film? Well, I play Harry, the restaurant owner, where this happen chance meeting takes place. Mm -hmm. Unbeknownst to either of them. They meet, uh -huh. and one thing leads to another, and to another, and love is where you find it. I play Karen, Walter's ex-girlfriend. And so, what's your story in this movie? Well, you know, I left him because he wants to be a public defender. Oh, okay. And I want him to work for a high, powerful law firm. You want him to, well, it's just like a sister, want him to achieve his greatness, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. Want him to maximize. Myself. I'm a lawyer, and we can make so much money together, but he wants to defend people that can't afford him. Absolutely. Where do you think that comes from? 
I mean, what? I mean, what's going on with this guy? I mean, does he have I don't other know. He agendas? He has a heart. He has a heart. He has a and very, and he's very humble. And you're going after the money. You want him to be successful. You well, want him yes. to go after it right now. Yes, exactly. And so, how did you? Did you choose this character? Was it chosen for you? Did no. they look at your portfolio and say you'll play a good role? It was chosen for me. Okay. And how do you feel? You feel comfortable with this character? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. All right, what can we look forward to? I mean, like, what is your favorite part of this movie? When Nadia and I are in the kitchen, you know, I come to the house unexpectedly, uh -huh. like most women do, and uh, she's there, and, uh, you know, she's younger. She's so much younger than me. Okay. It's your boy with OH Films. We are here on a movie premiere. Love is where you find it. I'm here with a beautiful actress. Goes by the name Mary Key Manley. She plays an attorney. And actually, her name is Monica in this film. What can we look to see in this film with you? Well, probably a little bit of an attitude. She's actually someone that everyone thought that uh, the main character should be involved with at the office. Uh -huh. But we don't mix business and pleasure. I know all about Karen. I know all about Nadia. I'm really not having too much time to spend with him since he doesn't appreciate a good woman. Wow. And so I say what I have to say and I keep moving on. We got Marquis McKenzie, cinema, photography. You know you got to have somebody to capture all these things that's going on in a film like this. Love is where you find it. My man right here. What you got going on, my brother? We got a lot of things going on. Tonight's show is going to be pretty, pretty entertaining. You think controversy in this film? You think it's going to be some upset women? In the, in the audience and you think some men gonna be cheering? How you feel about this film? Do well, you make some predictions? That's a, question. that's a very good question. I think it's gonna be cheering on both sides. There's gonna be odds at all, on both sides. Uh -huh. That's what makes this script, this movie, so entertaining. It's that it, it pulls on both ends. Mm -hmm. The good, the bad, the taboos, the non-taboos. I done done a few interviews. I'm so excited from these interviews that I'm getting. You just got me amped up to watch this film. I want to sit down with my popcorn, drink a cold drink, and get my watch on and study and see what's really going on with relationships these days. I've been married. I just have my anniversary today. Thank you very much. And now, uh, you know, seeing these young people get married and older people meeting younger people, you know that always happens. I just want to see what my man, Mr. Jones, had to say about it. What was his character and, you know, how was he inspired to write such a film? I think love is where you find it. Keep your eyes open and get in here, get some popcorn and watch this movie. Elliot Simpson. Okay, so you're the married one out of the bunch. Oh, yes. I'm the one that's in. I'm the married man. They're going to tease me a lot, but I'm the married man in the bunch. You hold it down, aren't you? Oh, I got to hold down the fort. Do you defend marriage? Oh, I defend marriage. They need to come on and get married and leave all them women alone. So we really need your character to bless some of these young brothers out here that's not married, huh? They need to learn how to get it right. Now, even though my wife, now, you when you see the character, now, I might be a little whipped there, but, okay. you know, I'm still married. Well, I mean, that's realistic. There's some brothers out here that's ripped. <clears throat> I play Tanya. Okay. And I'm the sensible friend. Mm -hmm. I try to help her understand okay. that, you know, dating a man who's too much older than you mm -hmm. is really not the best thing. Uh -huh. So I try to be the voice of reason of the group. We always need our voice of reason. Yeah, we do. Are you fun? Of course I am, yeah, and you'll see in the film. Assistant director, Miss Nikki Towers. I bet you have some type of, uh, let me see, some type of judgmental input for the situation. As a matter of fact, I do. I am so against her dating somebody over her age. And so I give her a really hard time. I'm the friend that is just basically telling telling to her like it is. I don't hold, I don't, I don't roll no punches. I just say what I feel. Well, the viewers, um, will they look at you as a hater, or will they? Will you? You think you're gonna get some cheers from some other sisters? that's gonna oh, feel like you speaking for them? Cheers, believe that. Yeah, I think, I think. Um, people will be able to identify with her. She's a loud mouth. She's the she's the best friend that like. You don't necessarily want to have, but you got to have her because she's the real one. The waitress named Renee. Okay. And I actually get to serve the couple as they come to our restaurant. All right. What type of interaction do you have with them? I, I go to their table. I take check her ID. So, of course, you know, Walter's just like, she didn't check my ID. Mm -hmm. Because of his age, I don't check his ID because okay. I assume maybe he's her father. Or at right, least right. I know he's at least 21 years old. Right. So do you find out that there's some type of scandal in here? Do you get involved? I mean, I know I'm crying a little bit, <laughs> but I have to know. My viewers want to know. Can you give us some dirt? Oh, no. You have to see the movie. I'm the number one support for Nadia and Victor's relationship after, of course, I get past my initial curiosity. Mm -hmm. But I'm her backbone in this one. 
you know, supporting her, making sure she does what she's supposed to do. I heard somewhere that you're doing some singing in this film. Oh, yeah. Three of my songs are in the film. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're a professional singer. You do your thing for real. I do my thing, yeah. I do. So I have right now I have those same three songs on CD, like on my MySpace page and everything. But. Okay, yeah, like one of the first interviews I had up here was a producer. You have any interaction with him, Rick? You know, I didn't get a chance to work with Rick on didn't? this one. No. Wow. So all the songs I had were songs that I already worked on and that fit for the film okay. as well. So, But as far as getting to work with him, no. But we did talk, but okay. we didn't get a chance to collaborate on this one. We look forward to seeing Angela, the best friend of Nadia. She's going to do her thing. She's very important, very supportive, and I can't wait to hear you sing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your boy DJ Dog Dice right here, premiere of the movie Love is Where You Find It. Thank you. <laughs>